Hello everyone, Funshine X here. Look what I got a hold of. This is ME Hypercubed, Material Energy Hypercubed. It's the next map in the series by Parcel31U. Um, this is an alpha build, version 0 .0 0 0.8, I believe. And uh, yeah, we're gonna give it a test, mainly looking for um, any bugs with mods or um, the quests themselves that don't work, try and give Parcel some help with his development so that he can get th this out in a beta form and all of you guys can play it. So let's start and get right to it. I don't know if I should take any of this stuff with me. I don't know. Let's look in here. There's a book that explains the map. Uh, material energy, to the fourth power, space mine two, slash material energy hypercubes. We can call it any of those. I'll probably call it ME4. <laughs> um, that's the easiest way. By Harpo, uh, Parcel 31U, we've got some artwork by Tomas uh, M, and there are no rules. Start the map, simply place a button on the diamond block and press it. Sweet. All right, well, I got big buttons. I got some building blocks. I got a little quarter of a heart, a reward bag, a artistic brush by Thomas I guess that's to say hey look Thomas was the artist in a lot of these and uh, we've got Lord Dust quest book we've got Newcastle Geeks quest book and VSWE's quest book all the developers of HQM and then a regular one I think they're all the same yeah they're identical <laughs> okay so uh we probably don't need this book we can give it back let's keep these just in case we can store them in inventory in case we die um yeah and let's see if there's any good good goodies in here wow i got some reactor stuff cool <laughs> that's odd anyway let's put a button there and give the map a start it's resetting our spawn point and teleporting us, and we are in a cool little area with ineffable glass, which I think is glass you can walk through. Cool. Wow, I don't want to fall. Um, yeah, okay. What's that? That is a Lapis Celestius Albus. Cool. <laughs> there are so many new mods in here, guys, that I have never even seen before, so this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but I'm probably going to make some mistakes. Just forgive me. I'll let you know ahead of time that we are going to be having some fun. Uh, let's look at the... Qu We've got chest here, and it looks like there's one down there. I want to see what the quest book says to do first. Oh, man. I uh, This is also the first time I've played 1.7.10. <laughs> so there's HQM's got a lot of new stuff. There's mods that have completely changed from the last time I played them. Uh, we have no hardcore modes. So we can die as many times as we want. We don't have a party because we're not playing on a server. We've got reputation uh, with the space-time flux of zero. Show the quest. We've got five quest things to start off with. Let's go with Lost in Space to start. And it says, Unforeseen Consequences. Where am I? And why is it so bright? If only I had the tools to determine where I or when I am. So, I guess playing on the fourth dimension here of ME4 Hypercubed, we've got three dimensions plus the time dimension. Interesting, you can see the clock is going nuts, <laughs> and so is the compass. I think that means we're in the end of the nether, I don't know. Um, we need to collect a compass and a clock, and I think I saw those in this chest right here. And let's grab them, and we've got a book. The spatial log. Spatial corruptions found. Scanning for errors. States reverted. Please realign the spatial sectors. Okay. <laughs> so we have corruptions in the spatial something. And we need to realign spatial sectors. Maybe that's the whole gist of the map. I don't know. All right, quest book, uh, we get to claim a reward. We get a portable scanner, a reward bag, a red heart canister, and plus one to our space-time flux. Okay. <laughs> Interesting sound. Uh, we can put that guy here. And we can open our bag. We got mystery arrows. Everyone loves a cookie. Okay. I guess everyone does love a cookie. I have no idea why... That has anything to do with arrows, but <laughs> maybe they shoot cookies. 
Okay, we've got some new quests opened up here. Lost in Space looks like we already completed because we got that spatial log. Quest text says, it seems I'm in some sort of fail-safe spatial disk designed to keep time paradoxes straightened out. I should find the center of the console for this complex. Okay, and I get a conduit probe and a reward bag and... I don't know. Some kind of um, unknown reputation there. Reward bag has, oh, a lot of stained glasses in it. That could help us build something cool. And the quest bag, next thing says, travel anchor. There's a travel anchor directly below me. Standing on a travel anchor and looking around should reveal other locations to teleport to. All I need to do is look at those destinations and jump. Make sure the render distance is set to at least four. And I have that fine. I'm going to get a Yetta wrench and uh, more reputation. It says down at the bottom and I can see it down there. So travel anchors are from, um, what mod? Open box? Something like that? I don't know. Oh, look at this thing. We've got more mystery arrows. Uh, we got a golden egg, so we get a mini me. We got some more building blocks. Got a lot of cookies, some cactus seeds, sugarcane seeds, and an ender marker. Okay, we'll save all that for now. And, uh, yeah, that should have completed this quest, so we can get our Yetta. Next thing is going to be traveling around, so I guess it's the basic tour quest, the same as ME3 had. A uh, quick check of my surroundings to get me centered. I need to visit the chemical reactors, the Victory Monument, the Observatory, and the Big Reactor. Cool. They've already got a big reactor for us. I'm going to get a magnet. Okay. So, we look around here, and we can see there is... Uh, Victory Monument. It's going to be hard to see on YouTube because it's so dark, but this is the reactor, this is the chem lab, and then Spatial IO directly up on top of us. All right, so let's start at the Victory Monument. I want to see what that looks like. Nice. This says trophies. Okay. So we've got a place to put our trophies. Looks like we're going to find random trophies again. I'm sure there's lots of secrets. Parcel really likes to put in... Whoa. <laughs> likes to put in random secrets you gotta kind of hunt hunt around for um, we've got looks like an armory um, where he wants us to put um, specific arm or you know craft all the armor in the game or something and all the weapons too maybe cool and this would be the wool so we've got ghast wool coral wool lavender wool well, that's cool. He gave him a name rather than just saying VM Wool Purple <laughs> or whatever. They actually got a name. That's good touch. And maybe he hasn't come up with names for some of the wools. I don't know. That's an interesting graphic there. Cool. All right. Well, that's the Victory Monument. Did we get credit for it? We did. Okay. Let's go look at something else. What else we got? There is the Observatory Chem Lab. Let's check out the Chem Lab. Um, nothing in the chem lab, maybe? Oh, there's an elevator here. Uh, what is this? Whoa. What the heck? Did you guys hear that sound when I got close to this thing and all got way messed up? Or maybe that's just part of the music, I don't know. That was really weird. <laughs> Fusion wall from mine chem. Oh my goodness, chemical fusion chamber. I have not messed with that. That is that is looking really cool though. What is this? Tungsten plating, chemical fission chamber. Okay. So it looks like I was kind of wondering that in Mind Chem from ME3 is if you have like hydrogen, can you combine two to make helium? And it looks like you can. You can fuse and fission things, different elements. Okay, cool. And up here nothing oh skeleton <laughs> oh I got nothing to break him with yet all right we'll have to remember he's there all right did we get credit we did now we need to go observatory and big reactor all right stand on here the observatory where are you observatory reflection pool oh that's where we started okay um, reactor yeah, we need to go to the reactor. Whoa, look at this awesome room. This is amazing. 
cool. There's a lot of these new blocks here by uh, Z Tones. It's called the Hank Block. <laughs> That's a weird name for a block, but anyway. Um, yeah, but he's just using a bunch of decoration mods. There's a zombie over here. That just to, you know, give my, this a more industrial look and a fresh look, you know, something we haven't seen before. Wow, we've got a big reactor, and it is a very big, big reactor. Um, it's got, uh, it's running right now, turning power. Um, it's using only 0.01 millibuckets a tick, so this thing should last quite a bit. I'm just wondering, sh what is it powering? <laughs> uh, it's a Tesseract, okay. Frequency 1. There's... It's uh, sending energy somewhere. Don't know where. But we've got uh, some cyanite if we ever need it. Cool. Anything over here? Don't see anything. Some more export. Oh, there's lots of cyanite. Cool. And some more power tops. Okay. Well, that's the reactor. And the last one would be the observatory. And there it is. Observatory. Looks like we got some batteries. Are these empty or full? These are full. I wonder if this is what the um, Tesseract is powering. Can't really tell if there's something under those. I guess I could do this. Nope, nothing there. Nothing there. So it looks like these. this is the amount of power we have, and if we ever need to go fill them up, maybe we take them up to the reactor and just manually charge them until we get a test racked. All right, what's in here? We've got uh, all to types of Ender I.O. stuff. Sweet. So when we want to move some uh, energy around or items around, fluid, we've got all that stuff already created for us. In here, we've got some potatoes, capacitors and uh, some leadstone capacitors okay crafting tables and here oh look at this glass cables we've got me interface terminals crafting terminals some storage cells they're empty we've got a storage drive impulse plates i don't even know what those are <laughs> uh, in this one we've got some transfer pipes transfer nodes some tanks some ender lily seeds take those some speed upgrades dagger kill speaking of this um this mod or this pack has this mod where you ha can have like multiple weapons and you hit i think by default it's r but that's bound to something else so i've switched it to f and that gives me you see my uh two hands and i can switch with mouse wheel between them and now i have a dagger so i can dagger you and, and punch you Let's get these heart canisters in place. We can start regening a little bit. And uh, what else we got? Quest books. Oh, a lot of quest books. Let's put all these quest books in here. Uh, QDSs. Um, anything else in here? Can I dual wield these? Let's give it a try. No, we can't. But we might as well. Should we hold three of them? Let's just hold two of them. That way if one breaks, we can just switch to the other one. Um, this is a ME dense cable, so we've actually got an ME system set up here. What's under here? Yeah, this is what I thought. That's where the ME, the ME interface now, or I mean the ME controller, whatever, is not just a block now. It's a multi-block structure. It looks like this. It's crazy. Oh, I got a chest here with a book. Core log. Oh, I got to get out of fight mode here. There we go. Analyzing core. Error, error, error. Running self-repair, wool's missing. Replace the space-time wools. Okay, so obviously that's a second thing. We're, we've got to realign whatever crap it said to realign and find the space-time wools. Cool. But anyway, it looks like that's powered up and has quite a bit of power, so we could set up this ME system right away. Let's do that. So where was that? That was over here. Let's get the drive. These, I want the uh, crafting terminal. And let's get a terminal as well. We can go ahead and put this right here. Cool. And uh, throw the drives in there. And then let's get another cable. 
No, I don't need 64 cables. One will be plenty and put that plunk right there. And put the uh, crafting table. And where would we want the other one? Maybe I will get one more of these. Right there and put that there. And I think there was actually one more type. There's a, here I can just sort. There we go. Um, what is this? A interface terminal. Why am I having so much trouble with inventory tweaks here? I don't know what that one does. Yeah, okay. Cool. Um, so now, yeah, we could just kind of dump all this stuff in here, right? Nice. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, awesome. Uh, quest book, have we finished this quest now? Oops, that's the error thing. You go in there, too. This says, yeah, we have visited everything. We get our magnets and our quest reward here. Okay. Um, magnet needs power. I think I've got some power here. Shift click, is that how I power this guy up? Is he gaining any power? Huh. Uh, activate to charge held items. Must room in a heart bar. Sneak to activate. There it goes. Alright, now you. Why are you not powering? Come on, dude. I guess those mods do not play well together. Oh well. well, worth a try. The music is getting just a little bit loud. Okay. Well, I think we're good. Um, to start look at the next quest here. System core. Oh, we need the core log. Where did we put the core log? We read that already. We get a multimeter and some more reputation. We can put that back in there. Okay, next one. We are cruising along. Last quest, guys. <laughs> Spatial I.O. Okay, so it's going to be very similar to ME3. We're going to have a disc and with a space on it. Spatial I.O. is located directly below the spatial chamber. I can get there by using the travel anchors, putting the disc in the spatial I.O., and pressing the button to the right should load the area. I'll need to travel back to the observatory to enter. All right, so I first need to get to the spatial I.O. area. So let's look for that. There it is. Jump there. Come on. It's blocked. All right, we need to go somewhere else first then. Um, let's go to the reactor. Then over. There we go. Okay, we've got lots of power. We've got chemistry lab. Oh, it's just telling us where to, kind of the maps of where they are. Okay. What are you? Sky stone? Flat lamp? Anyway. All right, here's the spatial I.O. Um, do we have a map? Yep. Inclusion chamber. <laughs> cool. And we'll put it in here. Looks like this works the same. And hit the button. All right, what is this? Oh, this is the ME controller, the multi-block controller there for this system. Hey, there's a spider here. Cool. Um, yeah, so now we need to get to the observatory again. Why can't I just go to that? There we go. All right, back to the observatory. There's a creeper. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, did I get credit for this quest? I did. Reward back pressure plates. Alright, don't need you guys. You can go in here. Oops, not in there. In here. Alright, and next on the list. Whoa! Whoa! Lots of quests opened up. Inclusion chamber. I need to get to the center of the chamber. My footsteps echo on the metal floor. No there's sound to be heard. Filling the space around me with my presence. An empty vessel is the boat I sail across the seas to an unknown shore. That was deep, Parcel. <laughs> that was very deep. All right, I have I have weapons, so we can fight. Okay, let's get some weapons out here. What was that? And oh, there's that ineffable glass there. Boom. Goodbye. All right. So, where did he spawn? Is there a spawn area? Oh, there is a little spawn area. 
I need to get a light here because I don't. Can they go through an ethical glass? I don't know if mobs can, so maybe that's a good wall where mobs can't get me in my main area. All right, where is the center of this thing? 16 meters away, okay. That probably means right here. Any mobs? There's a hole in the ground. All right, uh, no, F1, there we go. Claim reward, reward bag. More reactor stuff. <laughs> okay. And what's our next quest? Oh, we get to pick and choose now, looks like. Green room. I'll need some wood to make my first set of tools, and I should also grab some of the soil. Okay, that's good. We're going to need that for sure. Oh, we get a pickaxe. Uh, ghastly wool. First of the space-time wools won't be too far down. Too hard to find. I hope the others will be this easy. Okay, I need to find the wool somewhere. Lapis Celestius. What are these strange glowing fragments? They give a gentle hum. I've seen those already all over the place. Okay, I get those. The Red Room. With all this loot, I should manage my inventory space accordingly, either by taking multiple trips back or leaving the less important items behind. Red is running from the ground among the flowing grasses as each wind... Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm impressed for an alpha. So far, it's all working great. I think it's been out for a while, so it's already gone through a few builds and fixes and that kind of thing. Skystone. I collected all this skystone, but what can we possibly use for? It's too rough. Let me try smelting it. Okay. Some of these quests are a little bit interesting because they... Like, this quest text says I collected all this, and I haven't collected anything yet. So, it's mainly a shit. I should collect all this? I don't know little bit interesting there. Compressed resources. Looks like we need to get some sand, gravel, and dirt. Ladder in the center of the inclusion chamber leads down to a small compression storage room that is filled with mobs. There's a variable. Oh, this. so down this hole is mobs, huh? Okay. <laughs> I noticed in this build he's taken out journey map, so there's no more mini map to see where the mobs are. Makes it a little bit more difficult. Um, what else we got? Secrets. There are secret chests hidden within all the areas. Some contain rare loot. Others maintain silly items. Some may unlock a hidden quest line. Exploring and breaking everything is recommended. And it's going to give us a little hint where the first secret is. 1,156, 1027. Uh, so we need to go up. I think it's like above us. Okay. And that's pretty much all the quests. Oh my goodness, need to collect all the Lapis Celestius. Um, I think that's maybe a first bug or just minor issue that that quest probably shouldn't open until we get all the white ones, maybe. So it's like, collect the white ones first, now that you have, collect all the other colors. I don't know, maybe we'll see. So I think green room sounds good. So let's go get some copperous wood. This looks like the green room, if I don't say so myself. And here's some wood. Okay, the mobs... I don't know where the mobs are. So, <laughs> let's just keep a watch out. Sounds like they're either above or below me because I did not see them in this room. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this tree down and then we'll use the wood to craft up some, some stuff. Alright. Oh, this tree's tall. Whoa! Whoa, all the leaves just went... <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Um, let's just climb up a little bit and get this last one. Maybe that's a bad idea. I'll get a pick anyway. That's fine. This is a very tall tree. And there it goes. <laughs> oh, I love when mop bump packs have that uh, thing. This is really weird, though. Like, some of it didn't despawn? Oh, because it's within a couple blocks of that one there. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so what did we get? We got four saplings, nine wood. How much did we need? We got enough. Okay. We're going to get more saplings, a hatchet, fertilizer, and a flint pickaxe. Okay, cool. And that's open tools and weapons, which wants us to make some um, tinker's stuff. 
Is this like a really, it's probably a really crappy hatchet if it's made out of slime. Yeah, I think this is actually like slower than breaking it with your hand. <laughs> That's funny. That's a good troll. Uh, pickaxe. Decent pickaxe. And then I saw a chest over here. Let's grab it. We got armor. We got uh, wooden tools and a retlock. Retlo. It's just a protection five potato. Okay. Um, let's grab all this and move it back to the armory. Can I bring you with me? I don't think I can break that with this pickaxe. Okay. Well, I will be back for you, trees. Um, take some of this. Because it did say to grab some. That was weird. It's like see-through for a minute there. And, yeah, we can just fill this in with some clay. Perfect. Okay, cool. Let's go back then to the ME system. Oh, well, should we check out the red room? No, inventory is completely full. Okay. All right, back here. Anything spawned? Nope, we're good. Cool. To get a torch there as soon as I can. Or I can just take one of these blocks, maybe. I don't know. Whoa. Okay, so let's dump everything in here that we don't need. All right, that looks good. Um, soil keep. Don't care about that. Hmm. A wooden sword. I'll stick with that for now. A dagger and a rapier. And then I'm going to equip one set of this. Oops. And then let's go to... Well, I was going to put it in the victory monument, but then I'd have to jump all the way down there when I need it. So let's just put it in here for now. In case I die, I can come back and get it real easy. Should I put my quest book in there? Okay. You need some cookies? Can I put uh, this sword here? Here? Huh. This one will not go in here at all. Okay. <laughs> well, let's put that here, and then if, in case we are getting a hairy, hairy situation and we can't switch to fight mode fast enough, we can just use that. Um, tinker stuff. Okay, let's do that. So, that's garden soil. I need the wood that I just put in here. And uh, let's make all the tinker stuff. Um, sticks. <laughs> Okay, does it have the recipe where you make it like this, or is it four sticks? Nope, there it is. Four blink patterns. Well, that's cool. That seemed to give us a lot more than it normally does. Oh, and man, I turned all of it into planks. That was not what I wanted to do. And I just made two of those. Okay. <laughs> well, let's get one of those, one of those... These, and we need to go get a, another actual wooden block. I'm ready for you, creepers. Oh, there's where the mobs will be. Because remember, it said down the hole there's mobs, so they're probably right in the, underneath there, underneath the green room. Which means we could probably just dig down from the green room and not have to fight our way down this ladder, right? Maybe. That could, that could be a thing. Alright, I need you. Oh, this slime block is horrible. Oh, I should have planted more saplings <laughs> so they could grow again. Oh, we're not doing very well. Not planning ahead. Oh, I can probably go to the red room now. Squirrel! Uh, anything in here? Nope, just a lot of weird stuff. Whoa! That's a lot of red blocks. Not as many as you thought it would. <laughs> They're just spread out quite a bit. Uh, looks like we got some redstone, some... Oh, good torch. Nice. Neat torches. Uh, redstone bricks. Fancy redstone bricks. Colored cobblestone. Wooden planks. Redstone alloy. Cool. Tulips. Bunch of red things. And I don't 
think there's any reason to go back to that room now. <laughs> uh, that might have completed the quest, though, did it? Red room. There we go. Redstone Alley. Claim reward. Do we get credit for the tinker stuff? Did I notice? Part builder. Oh, that's the one we're about to go build. Alright, uh, torch there. Cool. Okay, so put uh, you there, you there, and... Oh, that's garden soil. I did it again. Where is the block? There it is. Part builder. Cool. Alright, where do we want our crafting area to be? Let's just put along the wall over here, maybe. Tool station. That's a little too high. Let's keep it on... Keep it on the down low, right? Okay, this is a crafting station. Fine, put it over there. Tool station, stencil table, part builder. There we go. Cool, look at this, this is new. You don't have to scroll through, you just like, make me one of these, please. Sweet, okay, cool. Part builder and tool station. Could I, do I have anything good? I can make a new head out of. No, no, and no. I was thinking I could fix this slime hatchet, but actually it's gonna have to be completely repaired to be even do that, so I'll probably just make some new tools. I don't know. Um, all this red junk can go in here. Don't need any of it. Reward bag has a cactus matok. With beheading, auto smelt, luck, and reinforce two. Okay. That's crazy. I like that better than the slime hatchet, though. So go away, slime hatchet. And I think we're good. Okay, guys. Well, we made a lot of progress first episode here. I'm pretty happy and pretty excited to be able to play this map. Um, because, as I said, it's an alpha build. Limited people are able to test it at this time, but beta should be right around the corner. And that's why we're playing this, to correct and squash all the bugs. Um, I will see you guys next time. If you liked the episode, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed already, why not? It's free. And we'll spin Funchet X for ME for Hypercubed. Catch you later. Bye.